Sunday, April 20th, marks the 15th anniversary of the Columbine Massacre in Littleton, Colorado. Uh, that massacre, of course, was where two students m marched into their school armed with an arsenal of guns and homemade bombs, killed 13 of their fellow students and teachers, and wounded dozens more before committing suicide some hours later. And Columbine is really, in some ways, a turning point in the American gun control debate because it was not the most fatal school shooting, and it wasn't the first school shooting, but it was the school shooting that triggered a, the kind of reaction that could have been expected to lead to some form of legislative change. In fact, previous shootings had led to increased controls over uh, gun ownership and gun purchasing. Mass shootings are an international problem, not just an American problem. And our new report, 15 Shootings That Changed the Law, looks at the examples of shootings worldwide and in the United States, which led directly to new legislation controlling guns. Most of these uh, controls were focused around banning or severely restricting access to categories of guns. A smaller number were about uh, changing the regulations that control gun ownership, for example, waiting periods. And a small number had to do with restricting access to people below certain ages. Uh, but one thing that we really noticed from this research is that the United States is the only country in the world that's ever loosened uh, controls on guns in the wake of a mass shooting. This trend started uh, in the wake of the Luby's massacre in Colleen, Texas in 1991, where a woman who had been in the uh, cafeteria that was attacked said afterwards that she could have saved her parents' lives and the lives of other people who were killed in the massacre if she had been able to bring her gun into the restaurant with her. But in obeyance of Texas law, she had left it outside in her car. Uh, and this led to a profusion of concealed carry laws and laws designed to sort of push guns outwards into, um, into public spaces in America. Uh, and that's really a unique response. Every other case that we have of mass shootings leading to legislative change uh, has involved increasing gun controls and increasing restrictions over who can own guns, what types of guns they can own, and under what circumstances they can own them. What our report really shows is that mass shootings are a global problem, but when you break out the legislative changes that result from mass shootings, the U.S. really stands alone. It's, in that sense, a very unique response to this particular type of armed violence.